Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a large space marine force that's been worked on by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, this army is made up of loads of cool models. You've got several different, uh, you've got James Workshop and also you've got Forge World as well. For example, we've got a land speed uh, Tempest there and also got a land raider Achilles uh, as well. So there's some really, really cool models in it. Plus obviously some grey knights as well, as you can see, that are in an interesting colour, which I'll explain a little bit more in a second. Um, there's an earlier phase this commission as well on our YouTube channel we've actually completed two phases for this uh, for this client and this is the third phase um, it's got a very interesting backstory now our client approached us and wanted a completely out there army that uh, is something totally different and uh, that's the beauty of what you, when you get army commissioned you can you know get your spec and you can totally sort of go go to town on the things that you want uh, this army is themed after bacon uh, you heard correct it's themed after bacon that you eat so it's a space marine uh, army themed after bacon which we have nicknamed in the studio the sons of bacon um, I think the client may have adopted it I'm not too sure but uh, it's quite funny <laughs> either way it's been a great project to work on Ben's taken loads of cool influence from bacon uh, that sounds really weird to say but he's taken loads of influence <laughs> from bacon and created a very themed army with that so it gives you a bit of an idea of what you can actually achieve when you come and get a commission um, done with us here at Siege. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive on in and have a look at this great project. Um, so for colour scheme, uh, if you've seen the other uh, phase of the commission, uh, what Ben's done is he's used the sort of pink colour as the main base colour for, for the army. And then uh, the accent colour is actually the same colour as the sort of fatty aspect of bacon. So obviously as you can see the arm is this sort of pinky colour. And then we've got this uh, sort of like tan sort of uh, vanilla sort of like um, you know, beige sort of colour as the accent colour. And then added some gold as well. Uh, again, full highlighting across all the armour panels and everything. As you can see, even the lenses on the Marines are all picked out as well. So it's, you know, we've expensed no sort of uh, details at all whatsoever. We've gone really to town on it, um, which is really, really cool. Now... When it comes to the bacon aspect of it, as you can see around his leg there, uh, that sash or a bit there is actually uh, bacon. So with any purity seals on this force, plus any accents like cape and cloth and things like that, are actually rashes of bacon or are bacon looking, if that makes sense. Uh, so we've actually done that, as you can see here, full highlighting all the way through. Uh, really, really nice models, as you can see here. I'll pull forward a few for, uh, different individual ones from every unit so you can have a quick look, uh, get this guy to focus. Uh, it's a bit bright, apologies. He has his tabard there, his cloth, he's actually got like a butcher's kind of like blood stain all over it as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and then moving around again, as you can see, full highlighting, full detail work on all of these models. Uh, I'll pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at the variation of different, uh, different bits per unit. Uh, again, as you can see here, loads and loads of details, all picked out, all highlighted fully. As you can see, again, more bacon sashes on the legs, as you can see there. So that's just some of the Vanguard veterans. Pull forward the captain so you can have a look at him, uh, get him to focus. Again, as you can see there, uh, he's got like a butcher's tabard there. All the purity seals are bacon. The uh, strap on the storm bolter is actually a long length of, uh, of bacon. And uh, what Ben's gone in and done here on the shoulder pad, some personal iconography for this chapter and for this captain, is it's a bacon butty with some tomato ketchup just dripping out. Out of it there on the shoulder pad that's been free handed on there and if you look quite carefully at the uh, little scroll bit it actually says swine as well like pig swine there as you can see on there <laughs> uh, which is really cool they've got a nice sort of uh, butcher's kind of cape as well with a bit of sort of muddiness and integration onto the base as well which is really cool and again there yeah, you can see all the purity seals that are actually rashes of bacon with all the streaking effect there and marbling effect there as well that's been done uh, and that's the captain nice sharp butcher's weapon there as well as you can see and um, even the, uh, the rebreather has been painted like a snare as well on this captain so even he has got a, a bacon themed snout or pig themed snout should I say <laughs> uh, which is really good but all the lenses and everything all picked out all the purity seals obviously multiple highlighted and all the bacon aspects all done as you can see there so that's just the captain um, I'll pull forward a couple of the terminators as well so you can have a look at some of the really cool terminators that we've got in this force as well as you can see here so again, they have had the same works done on them, uh, full highlighting throughout all the lens and every details picked out. You've got some uh, bacon purity seals there, as you'd expect, uh, moving around all the gold accents and all the detail work all picked out on these, as you can see there. Uh, it's one of the terminators. Pull forward another one for you as well, so you can see. And again, we've got the same detail work, all the lenses, multiple highlighted, point of light source, white dot, everything all done on them. So full detail work. Uh, and uh, again, purity seals are bacon, which is always funny to say. Uh, and then moving on to some of the tactical terminators. 
Butchers. Some of them have got tabards here, like Butchers tabards with blood spatter and things on them. So I've like, been working um, with with bigs. Uh, and then you've got more um, more sort of beauty seals there as well that are bacon. Moving around, as you can see, really nice sort of marbling effect there on all the shoulder pads as well, just to show that sort of fatty kind of colour that you expect on, on bacon. Uh, so that's those. Um, we'll pull forward a couple of the bikers just so you can have a look at the bikers as well. Uh, and we've done the exact same thing on these. The same colour consistency across the whole commission as you'd expect. Again, multiple highlighting throughout, as you can see here, all the metal work all picked out, all the individual details and edge highlights all done through multiple levels, which is really nice. Uh, got a little bit gritty and dirty around the feet as well. Just done a little bit of weathering on these as well because of the mud that would kick up from the bases. So that's just some of the bikers. Uh, pull forward one of the dreadnoughts as well, so you can have a look at the dreadnought. Again, all highlighted, all aspects, all the lenses, all the missile racks, everything multiple highlighted, all the edges all done, every single lens all picked out. Uh, moving around, all of the different aspects of metal work highlighted there, as you can see. Uh, and then obviously the marbling effect there on the fatty areas, again, and a couple of purity seals that have got that bacon sort of, uh, well, bait that are bacon on there as well. So that's just one of the dreadnoughts. Um, we'll then pull forward the, the big guy himself. We'll put forward the Achilles. Lovely model. Obviously, it's a Forge World model, as you can see here. And uh, some real attention to detail has been done, as you can see. So we've actually gone in and uh, done the bacon butty there on the side as the chapter heraldry uh, with some uh, tomato ketchup running down from those. All fully highlighted, all the lenses and everything picked out, as you'd expect. And you can see there, which is really, really nice. Uh, really nice transition of colour from the bottom to the top as well. So it's nice and sort of gives it a real interest on this piece. Loads of lovely flat edges as well, all picked out. Every bit of uh, detail, like the skull on the back on the engine block, all the marbling effect there on the fatty areas, all picked out. Um, great modelling game as well, really, really durable. Lots and lots of wounds on this guy as well. Maybe a good addition to your force if you're looking for a really super hard tank, uh, as you can see there. So that's the Achilles. Um, and then we'll pull forward a couple of the other models, just pull forward the, uh, the Land Speeder Tempest that we've got there at the back. Uh, really, really cool uh, Forge World model. Uh, and uh, again, full highlighting work on this, just get it to focus for you guys. So as you can see, there, all the missile racks all picked out, the salt cannon, every edge, every panel all picked out, weathering as well and chipping as well on these, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, lovely model. Um, not too sure on the rules on this, but I'll have to have a look at it. I think it could be quite good now in the new edition. Um, but if you know, then put some comments below in the, the uh, bottom of the video as well, guys. Uh, Tempest, which is absolutely smashing. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll also pull forward a couple of the land speeders just so you can have a look at the land speeders get that to focus for you guys as well all fully highlighted all detail work every lens all picked out as you can see there and then um, we've got obviously just the little fatty colors there on the shoulder pads and on the front plates as well just to give that accent as well um, really really cool models always like the land speeders have been around for a long time but they're still holding their uh, their form with the rest of the new models that are coming out which is great, just get that to move a little bit for you guys. Um, and then we'll move on to uh, the some of the Grey Knights. So a client obviously came to us and asked us to do uh, some Grey Knights to go with the Force, but we thought it'd be really nice to, to instead of doing the normal silver, obviously to go in theme with his Bacon Army, um, and we ran this by him and he was over the moon with it, uh, to go sort of like a different off colour, so we've used the fat colour as the main colour, and then what we've done is also uh, gone in there and then it obviously added a bit of a pink sort of, uh, pinky sort of red mauve colour to different areas of the model as well. Uh, so just get that to focus for you guys. As you can see there, all the little bubbles in the vials there, as you can see. Uh, loads of bacon purity seals, all the little screens and everything all picked out with some contacts and blips, as you can see. Uh, all fully multiple highlighted on all the edges and uh, all the metal work all picked out. Some really sort of butchery sort of, uh, uh, sort of weapons, as you can see there. We've kept little silver accents on all the words on the armour, just so it's got that little silver accent, as you'd expect on any sort of... Uh, uh, Grey Knight Force, but everything's highlighted, fully detailed. Um, again, pull forward a couple more for you so you can have a look. Again, another one of the, the Grey Knights, as you can see here, uh, in the off colour. So obviously the sort of fat colour that's been used on the rest of the Force. Um, just so it's in keeping with the army, so when he uses it. But at the same time, obviously, he has a, a really cool standout unit for his Force. Um, and then we'll pull forward one or two more just for these Grey Knights because they're really, really cool. Um, and then again, you can see the, the bacon purity seals there, all with the marbling effect all done. Uh, and again, as you can see, all fully highlighted and fully detailed. Uh, really, really cool models, these grey knights as well. Uh, so that's that's uh, the third phase for his bacon themed Space Marine Army, guys. I really do hope you like it. Um, just move back a little bit, just so you can uh, you can see it from uh, from a bit more of a distance. Get that to move. There we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it just gives you a bit of an idea of what can be achieved with a very very open brief. Um, we're very keen to sort of take on projects that are you know kind of off the wall as well which is really good and it's great to, to try something totally different and approach it you know with a very very open brief as we have i hope you like it guys it's it's been a funny one i'll put the link to the uh to the other um 
phase that we've got a video for on the channel. That's got some great models in, like a Dreadnought uh, as well as a tactical squad with a very, very f uh, funny sergeant as well that's uniquely equipped. So go check that one out. Um, I hope you like it, guys. As always, all our contact details can be found in the description below. If you are interested in a commission, uh, please drop us an email through our contact form on our website. So that's www.siegestudios.co.uk. Uh, and as always, please like, please comment, and please subscribe to the channel. We do really appreciate it. Drop some comments below. It'd be good to chat to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, a good one. What do you think their battle cry should be? They're a bacon-themed army, so what do you think their battle cry should be? Chuck some comments below. Let us know what you think. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you liked it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.